Hey there, I'm Katie Cleveland, and this is Walking Together, a Christian parenting podcast. My education in early childhood development and social and emotional learning helps me to teach God's Word to kids each week, but I want you parents to be the main teachers of the faith to your kids. Join us each week as we explore topics that both kids and parents can use to build their relationships to God and with each other. Hey everyone, we're back with Walking Together, a parenting podcast. We are wrapping up this conversation around spiritual growth in the home today, and I want to give you a list of some of my favorite resources for devotions, children's Bibles, and parenting books. Each of these resources should be easy to find, but if you have any trouble, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help. Let's start off with devotions and Bibles. There's a difference between the two. The children's devotional that will have shorter stories and questions, things to talk about with your kids. A children's Bible will have all of your Old and New Testament Bible stories that are appropriate for children and written in a way that's easy to read. There are different age recommendations for all of these books, but I do think you will see which versions will work best for your kids. My two favorite children's Bibles are the Jesus Story Bible and the Beginner's Bible. Let's talk about the Jesus Story Bible first. This children's Bible is unique because every Old Testament and New Testament story makes a connection to Jesus and God's big plan. Everything from the creation story to the prophets to the life of Jesus is all written in a way that builds and connects to each other. The words on each page are written like a poem and are beautifully crafted together to paint a picture of God's ultimate plan for us. The illustrations are also very vivid and bright and even poetic themselves. There are 44 chapters of kid-friendly Bible stories, meaning stories, yeah, sorry, say that part one more time. There are 44 chapters of kid-friendly Bible stories, meaning they leave out some that are maybe too gruesome, like Cain and Abel or David and Bathsheba. But the age recommendation is three and up on this book, but I would actually suggest five and up. In my experience, the three-year-olds don't have the attention span for some of these stories in the Jesus Story Bible book, It will, and they kind of get lost in the allegories. The Jesus Story Bible book is written by Sally Laurie Jones, and this is one of the top children's Bibles out there today. The next one is a classic, but it has been in published for almost 25 years. The Beginner's Bible has the most Bible stories written in the most literal way. The illustrations are more cartoony, which is good for preschool age kids, in my opinion. This Bible is good for helping kids to get familiar with the actual Bible stories. It is written from a con- for a concrete brain and is easy for them to comprehend. Between the two Bibles, both can give you something different that I think is equally important. The Jesus Story Bible has a deeper connection to the gospel, and the Beginner's Bible teaches the stories that are most in their most literal form. Both books are published by Zonder Kids. Now, devotionals come in very different styles, and the most effective ones I feel like that are easier to follow have come in a good format that um, gives you a short story that ties in with a Bible verse and teaches you something about God. Then it asks you questions to discuss or to think about and gives you ways to live it out. The two I like best are Abba Daddy Do, written by Dr. Jacob Humans, and Notes from Jesus by Mikkel Kiefer. Abba Daddy Do is made for the whole family to do together and is written by both a father and an educator. The stories come from his real life with his children and offer biblical applications along with it. Notes from Jesus is your quick on-the-go devotional. It can be done by the kids on their own or with a parent. Each page reminds you something about Jesus and how you can apply it to your own life. My last recommendation could be seen as a parenting book or for anyone interested in common factors that can build lasting faith in Jesus. Sticky Faith is written by Karen E. Powell and Dr. Chad Clark. This book explores why teenagers and college students are leaving the church. But more than that, they will tell you what they found that the ones who stayed 
had in common and in their upbringing, the habits their parents had in the values that their families taught them. I do think this book is eye-opening and might cause you to reevaluate how you worship as a family. There are many more books and devotionals I could recommend, and if I had the time, I would go on and on. I will list these titles again in the comments section below. This is Katie Cleveland. I hope you found this episode useful today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. God bless.